Good evening, I'm Valerie Pritchard. I'm Alicia Richard, so glad you're with us. One man is dead after a shooting overnight in York. This is now the deadliest year in the city in over two decades. Sonica Bargo is live in York with more tonight. Sonica. Valerie, Alicia, this marks the 21st homicide in York this year, happening right here in the 100 block of South Belvedere Avenue. A local nonprofit tells me this surge in violence is an issue of resources not getting to these neighborhoods. I'm not going to the city for what? To get shot? You hear that all the time. A deadly year in York, the city recording 21 homicides. It's sad, but... That's how it is. The most recent late Tuesday night, York City police say they were called just before midnight to the area of West Poplar and South Belvedere streets and found a 34 year old man shot and unresponsive. He died on the scene. As citizens, we constantly suffer. Anu Banks is the founder of the Movement of York, a nonprofit trying to centralize resources for the community. We do the pantry out of here. He says this is an issue of resources not reaching the neighborhoods that need them. The resources that the community constantly asks for doesn't happen. It's always, well, we, we want to get this in place and then we can get to that. Why? Banks says city leaders are focusing on the wrong areas. So if you always use an investable dollars downtown, when do we ever see that support? Banks claims the city has federal money and he wants to see it used to address issues like the housing shortage and funding local nonprofits. There are a lot of programs around here that could use it. There are a lot of after school programs that could use this. He says until the community sees real investment, the violence is going to continue. And the kids are on their bike. They don't budge or nothing like, oh, they're shooting over there and they're still playing like it's nothing. That's traumatizing to a degree that I've never seen in my life. Police have not made any arrests yet in last night's homicide. Anyone with more information about it is asked to contact York City Police. Live in York, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News. Thank you, Sonica.